Gauteng's approach to tourism and the economy as a whole is to take us back to pre-COVID numbers. Tourism as a sector was one of the hardest hit during COVID and this is an opportunity to be able to bring everybody together on a single platform, both SMMEs, established businesses and essentially everything that Gauteng has to offer in the tourism space. We have a number of SMMEs in Gauteng and part of our developmental goals and agenda is to support them directly. Providing them with access to a platform such as Indaba is one such way that we do it. As a way of success, one of our SMMEs that we brought to this year's Indaba over the two days has managed to sign deals worth 500,000 rand. As you know, Gauteng, we like to coin ourselves as the gateway to Africa and of course the gateway to, to the world. When you travel to South Africa, majority of those flights land in Gauteng at the Oatambo International Airport before they um, go onwards, either outside of South Africa or to other destinations in the country. Other countries, um, especially those that we share borders with, are an integral part of our growth strategy for the tourism sector. Recently, we, we signed Eswatini Air just to be able to have a direct air travel between Johannesburg and um, Swaziland. We're looking to expand that footprint across the region, uh, across the continent, and we still maintain that we are the gateway to Africa and the gateway to the world. We've also brought um, other departments that play an integral and key supporter and enabler to the tourism sector. So for example, transport. Um, it's important to be able to, as I said, pool resources um, so that you're able to benefit from economies of scale, create a single platform that otherwise would be costly for smaller businesses especially to be able to do on their own. And for us to be able to cushion SMMEs, that is our responsibility. And I think this year we've done it um, very successfully.